Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, general reading. Uh, what does your guides and ancestor want you to know? This is going to be for Sagittarius uh, for April 2022. You can apply this to any of your placements. Um, you also could apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these readings are not meant to be cross-watched. This is more so for uh, your personal and spiritual development, Sagittarius. But, you know, if you would like to cross-watch, you know, feel free to do so. You could switch the rules if you want. Do whatever you want to this reading, okay? Um, keep in mind, like I said, these are general messages. Um, also, uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's get started. We're going to pull some uh, tarot and then we'll get into um, oracle messages. We'll save those for the end, okay? Um, what do we have for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius' guides and ancestors want Sagittarius to know? What does Sagittarius... Uh, Sagittarius' guides and ancestors want Sagittarius to know for April 2022. Oh, we have the Four of Swords. Could be overworking yourself. Could also have, someone here could have a very overactive mind. I feel like what... Your guides and your ancestors are asking you to do is to take a break, meditate, you know, maybe go for a walk, you know, walk the dog, exercise or something like that, take a nap, listen to music, whatever it may be that helps you create a, like a quiet space or a Zen space for yourself, uh, do it. Okay. Uh, three of swords. Someone here seems very stuck in life, okay? Extremely stuck. Because um, we we have that two of wands here. I mean, that two of wands is also, it means, you know, kind of like you hit a fork in the road. It's like, where do I go? Uh, three of swords. And then we have the seven of pentacles. I feel like someone here keeps looking back at their pain. The pain that this person has experienced, that you have, have experienced here, uh, Sagittarius, the energy is not being moved. It's stuck. It's stuck, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Six of Cups and Justice. Someone here is having a hard time getting over the past here. Now, someone here could also be experiencing generational and ancestral karma too. Someone needs to heal their abandonment issues, okay? Someone here has abandonment issues. I feel like someone here also has money issues, a spending problem, okay? So I feel like someone here is looking for safety, but someone here is not really doing the work to create that safety for themselves. Um, uh, so let's see what else we have here. Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Okay, Five of Swords. Two of Wands. Okay, so the Four plus Five is Nine. I mean, that's a Nine of Swords. That is stress. That is anxiety. That is depression, okay? Um, that is someone here who can't really sleep. This is interesting because I feel like someone here, perhaps someone's money's, money is great, their career is great, but I feel like someone here is not succeeding in their personal life right now. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, three of Swords, Hierophant, Seven of Pentacles, and the Empress here. There's a lack of growth and expansion in someone's life. And I feel like this stems with it really stems from 
someone's uh, broken relationship or relationships with their parents, okay? We have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. We have the Empress here, Libra, Taurus energy. You know, I, I, I do feel like the pain that someone is experiencing, if you haven't done so yet, I feel like the best thing to do is to speak to someone's because because the Hierophant, for me, sometimes is a representation of like a therapist or something like that, or a spiritual advisor, okay? So, you know, there are therapists out there that does holistic therapy, you know, kind of like three birds with one stone, you know, they do mindfulness practices too, they also do energy work, you know, they're not running around, you know, popping pills um, with people. I feel like, you know, you know, I feel like, you know, they help, but I feel like, I feel like that should be only used in like really, you know, personally, I feel like it should be used in like in really extreme cases here, okay? Uh, because I feel like your bo body could naturally heal some of the, um, um, ailments that we experience, especially when it comes to like mental health stuff, okay? Stress and anxiety, especially. But, um, you know, everyone's different though. So, um, and everyone's experience in life is different too. So everyone's on a different path. Let's see, Six of Cups. Five of Wands. Justice and the Queen of Pentacles. This is interesting. I feel like someone's career, someone's career is going really great. Someone here could be working in the, in the criminal justice system. Someone here could be a lawyer, an attorney or something like that. Um, you know, but I, I feel like there's a struggle here with, you know, the past. There's conflict with the past here. There is um, trouble letting the past go. Whatever you're experiencing now, Sagittarius, your parents could have experienced this. Your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your grandparents, and so on, okay? Um, so whatever they experienced, it got passed down to you. So that's how it works. That's, you know, that's ancestral and generational karma. Whatever doesn't get healed, whatever energies that don't get moved, it gets trapped and it gets, it keeps passing down to the next person, to the next person, to the next person until someone does something about it. Uh, what else do we have for Sagittarius? What else do we have for Sagittarius? What else does um, Sagittarius's guides and ancestors want Sagittarius to know? Okay, well, that's a lot. That's too many. You know, all of this fell out. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's see if they come back out. I did see the emperor in there. We have the lovers, Gemini energy. We have the star, Aquarius energy. We have the world and the king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then the queen of swords and the chariot, Cancer energy. Someone here could have struggled with relationships here too. So what I'm getting here is that someone here needs to have a relationship with themselves first before they could dive into a partnership here. Because I feel like someone here has a hard time trusting people. And yeah, we have the Two of Cups, we have the Lovers, we have the Star. We have the World and the King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Queen of Swords and the um, Chariot here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and Cancer energy with that Chariot. We have the Three of Wands here on the bottom of the deck. Here, here's the interesting thing is... Uh, there is some sort of awareness surrounding this, but I feel like someone here is just waiting around doing nothing, though. Tell me about the lovers. Four of Pentacles, the star, and the two of Pentacles. 
Sagittarius, you might be holding on to a connection here that you're refusing to let go. I mean, this could be someone here who left you or that you could have, you could have left someone. Um, I don't know. You could, there, there could be a pattern of people walking out of your life consistently. And I feel like it's not only with you, but it also could be with, with your parents, okay? You know, maybe friends, family members, or, you know, past lovers or something like that. You know, it could be with your grandparents, okay? Um, it could also be, like, people just live, leaving their physical bodies, too. That could be another thing here. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Seven of Swords, King of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. You know, I feel like through this really painful experience here, I feel like someone here just has trouble telling the truth. And I feel like when someone catches that, someone here is really defensive. You know, someone here could just basically have a hard time introspecting and self-reflecting, really sitting with their own thoughts here and their actions. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Ten of Wands, Chariot, and the Four of Cups. Wow. We have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. So this could be something that you've been holding on to for a very long time. And I feel like you're trying to break free of that. Okay, you're trying to release this. Okay, I feel like you're really trying to take that opportunity here to move forward. But I feel like there is a struggle here. There's a bit of a struggle. There's a bit of resistance here. You know, I feel like this new beginning that you're looking for is within reach. You just have to get moving and shaking here, Sagitt Sagittarius. Like I said, Sagittarius, this is not meant to be crosswatch, but if you would like to do that, that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. What else do we he have here for Sagittarius? What else do we have here for Sagittarius? Let's see what the unicorns have to say. Open to abundance, believe you deserve, accept plenty and prosperity. Ascension flames, merge with light, ignite keys and codes. There is some sort of switch that's happening for you. Um, even though it might be slow to happen, okay, it's happening. Okay, I do feel like you are addressing it. Um, you know, at, like I said, everyone's on a different timeline. Everyone's on a different different path. So you just got to do what's comfortable for you right now. And I feel like you're doing that. I do feel like eventually abundance will start flowing in as you start transmuting these energies that you've been holding on to. Okay. Um, okay, let's see what we have here. What else do we have for Sag? A win-win outcome is forecast. Yeah, I do feel like things will get better. Look, on the bottom of the deck, what else needs to be released? Expect powerful changes and a new beginning is coming. Yeah, and surrender to the divine. I feel like you are perhaps surrendering and just allowing things to be. Meditate and contemplate. So a lot of you guys are really trying to work on this, even though there's some sort of resistance because I feel like you know, there is, you know, discomfort here because it's different. This is something that you've never really addressed or or that there is some sort of awareness, but it's taking time for you to do something about it, okay? What else do we have here? What else do we have here for um, Sagittarius? Let's do this one here. It's this one. Cherry, prayer and contemplation, connect with heaven Ask and you shall receive. So I feel like this is also all about manifestation here too. Joan of Arc, voice of truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth here. 
Yeah, someone here, remember I was saying maybe someone here had a hard time being honest due to the pain and, and, and the trauma that they've been through here. So I feel like someone here is definitely, the, the energy is definitely shifting here. Yeah, you might not feel it, but it's happening. And it's happening. Why did I put that back? I'm taking that. Okay. What else do we have here for Sag? What else do we have here for Sag? What else do we have here for Sag? I mean, this looks really, really good. If you believe and be assertive. Okay. Perhaps, you know, for some of you guys, Sagittarius, maybe you've always had a hard time stand, standing up for yourself. So it's time to do that by being assertive. Okay, let's grab one more here. What else do we have here for Sagittarius? What else do we have here for Sag? We have God is in charge. And then on the bottom of the deck, spend more time outdoors. So I feel like a lot of you guys need a lot of grounding here because I feel like, you know, perhaps you guys have experienced a lot of trauma and it's being stored in your root chakra. So it's good to walk barefoot out in nature or just park your bum to the ground and just, you know, ground yourself and connect, okay? Because I'm getting like, maybe there's an energy where, you know, someone here might be all over the place. You know, their thoughts are like racing like crazy or something like that. Um, God is in charge. Let's see. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. I mean, perhaps you do believe in God, but, you know, this could be a representation of, you know, just the divine. You know, there is support here from your guides and your ancestors here too. Okay? Yeah, decide to be happy. That's the next card here. So I feel like you're choosing to be happy. Uh, you don't want to live your life like this anymore, okay? By holding on to all this pain, all this pain that you've went through um, up until this point. So uh, Sagittarius, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. Thanks.